Sheffield Wednesday in striped shirts meet Everton and Hillsborough, where 65,000 people, including 15,000 Everton supporters, watch the home team kick off. In the first few seconds, it looks like Wednesday have a walkover. Hustling down towards the Everton goal, Alan Finney puts the ball neatly to one Mark Jackshaw, who crashes it into the net. Certainly looked easier the way he did it. Everton, one goal down, set the ball rolling again. A second division side they may be, but they're soon playing first-class football, quite unruffled by the score. Leading a raid is Peter Farrell, and his shot nearly scorches the goalkeeper's hands. Everton keep pressing, but Wainwright's shot wraps the bar. Only McIntosh hangs on tight as Hickson barges into him. And it's still Everton on the attack. They're playing a magnificent game, but they just can't find a chink in the Wednesday armour. In the centre of the field, there's a tussle for possession. But finally, Sheffield Wednesday's Ivor Seemley sends his own forward line away, but the Everton defence held firm. Eddie Wainwright takes it away from danger and heads upfield. But all his efforts are in vain as a teammate bypasses Hickson. And it stays at 1-0 until half-time. When play resumes, Alan Finney gets Wednesday moving again. O'Neill intercepts the pass and clears. That starts another raid with Parker dribbling his way through the Wednesday defenders. Parker's centre sends McIntosh leaping, but all is well. But a moment or two later, Hickson's header makes it one all. A fitting reward for Everton's plucky efforts. Only six minutes to go, and it looks like a replay, but here go Wednesday again. Finney receives and waits for just the right moment to send it to Sewell, and it's another goal. That shook the Everton boys. Sheffield try again. The ball goes to Eddie Gannon, who attempts to dribble his way through. And now Wednesday take possession again. Racing in, Dennis Woodhead cracks it into the net. Wednesday, with only seconds left, have made it 3-1. Down go Gallant Everton, and on go Wednesday to round six.